Hey y'all, it's Will Edmond. Today, we're gonna be catching the Bright Line train from West Palm Beach to Miami. And guess what? You coming on along in this venture with me. Come, get on in, let's go. I'm already running late. I just arrived to the Bright Line train service and I just missed my train. I hate being late, traffic, <sighs> so I made it in. So basically what I'm have to do, I have to rebook my trip here on the app. But one thing about the Bright Live service, they don't charge a fee to rebook, even though I was 10 minutes late and I missed my train. The next train leaves in an hour and I should arrive in Miami uh, around six o'clock. So I made it to the scanner, so I'm gonna scan my ticket to get in here. When you walk into the Bright Line train area here in Palm Beach, you're gonna see some signs that tell you what premium lounge to go to. Then also there's a regular lounge. These lounges are super dope. I mean, the chairs, the feng shui, all of that. Um, this place is really upscale. I think a lot of these trains need to be in all the states throughout the country so people can actually go different places and not break the bank with airline fees. So I'm about to show y'all around some more. I'm about to show you the lounges, the restrooms, and then we're gonna hop on the train and we're going to Miami, Florida. And they also have men and women restrooms. I love how they made this archy fine for that. The premium lounge here is super, super nice. So go ahead and get some premium tickets when you're riding this train. The economy lounge where if you pay your $15 one way, you get to sit over there. It's still plush, it's still nice as well. And then the premium lounge, they got snacks, they got Lavazza coffee, they got tea. So I got my coffee. That's quite tasty. And then over here, what do we have here? And also in premium service, they have a wine and beer. So if you wanna kick back and relax and get a little buzz, you can do it here. Awesome, what is that? I got some rosé. Okay. I mean, I've ridden Amtrak all the way across the United States, but I don't think anything in the States like trains compares to this. And look at here, large display signs, so you know when the train is departing. All right, right line. Here we go, West Palm Beach to Miami, Florida. Y'all ready to go on this venture with me? Let's do this. As we're off, we're moving already. We're about to go on a journey. I'm gonna show y'all around on the train, so you make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. I'm gonna tell you about the Bright Line service, you know, where it's supposed to be going in the future. And uh, yeah, they're passing out snacks right now. I had some snacks at the Premium Lounge, but I still can snack on some snacks. Bro, don't be over here laughing at me. <laughs> the seats here in premium class, mm, super comfortable, a lot of spacious room. You have a table here. This is Brendan, I'll be your train attendant. Hey, Brandon, you any snacks or beverages? Man, you can't have me some snacks or beverages. What do you got? Absolutely. So, are we looking for alcoholic beverages or non-alcoholic today? Oh, uh, you have beer? I, I do. do. I have. Samuel Ooh. Adams, Wicked Haze. I'll take a Samuel Adams. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Thank you. No problem at all. Sir, how are you doing today? I am doing good. Nice that I am on the Bright Line service headed to Miami. Oh man, that's exciting. <laughs> what are you going to do in Miami? Anything like um, just riding the train. And when you're riding on premium, they gonna give you the finest snacks. And not to eat my snacks, I didn't realize while I was looking out the window how convenient this service is compared to driving. So if you're heading to Miami from West Palm Beach, um, you're actually going to get two complimentary services from the uh, attendants. They're going to be able to serve you here when you leave the West Palm Beach stop and also going to Fort Lauderdale. So I'm, I'm going to have all the snacks. On this route, the train reaches a maximum speed of 79 miles per hour. But from West Palm Beach to Orlando, the train will reach over 100 miles per hour. Whenever you're riding Brightline, if you do bring luggage, you do have ample amount of space to store your luggage on the train ride to Miami. There are some storage areas. Um, if you have personal items, you can take your personal items with you. They don't check them. Whenever I was coming through the gate earlier um, in West Palm Beach, there was no hassle or anything like that. That's one thing I love about catching trains versus going through TSA. Um, it's just so convenient. So they do have a cell phone area here on a bright line training so if you want to take a private call you can head right back here to this 
private section and make your call. Um, there's nobody else back here with me, so you can see it's very spacious. You can basically move around like this. <laughs> oh, the bathrooms are very spacious. You see, you can push this door right here and it automatically closes. Now that's fancy. You have a mirror, a Dyson mirror that's lit up. Hey, then also toilet area. It's so clean in here. Ample amount of space, so it's handicap accessible. And it smells so good. So we're heading to the Fort Lauderdale station. We're only gonna be at the station for a few minutes. I'm not sure if you can get off of the train or not, but we're gonna see if we can step off for a second and just get a fresh breath of fresh air. And then the other passengers from Fort Lauderdale are gonna board this train and then we're gonna take it on in to Miami. All right, so we just arrived to the Fort Lauderdale stop. There's passengers are about to get on right now. They're actually waiting outside. Um, our next stop is Miami. This has been a very smooth ride so far. We'll continue to be your train attendant tonight. Hey, Joyce, so Joyce is back. Come on, Joyce. <laughs> Like George, y'all. Would you like a lot of work every day here? Yes, pretty much. Yeah, you only find me at night. So if you want to have the full crew, come to that line at night. Make sure y'all say what's up to George. <laughs> Hi. If you come in the morning, you can have me though. Ooh. I'm just saying. Sorry, and if you come, I don't know, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. I, You're very I don't want to have too many drinks because I don't want to be drunk on Bright Line. That'll be a different type would of Would you like some water? A uh, water would be good. Right. Some uh, sparkling water. Grab us some water. Do you have any more? Do you have sparkling? Can you check if they have sparkling water over there? Please have a sparkling. I want a sparkling water. You have sparkling water since. The ride has been smooth. And Austin, tell me how you enjoyed the ride so far. It's been nice. It's better than a plane, I'd say. It's like super fast and the bathrooms are nice. There's some snacks. And you snack? <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I come with I come with every trip at the Bright Line. So nice. we're pretty, you are yeah, so fun. lucky. She got me sparkling water. You thought I had to. Me. Thank you. So you don't even get this type of service on airlines. See, they just bring you stuff extra. Like they forget about you and keep walking. See, Bright Line attendants, they ain't like that. Got me some sparkling water. I'm still trying to finish my Samuel Adams. He has sparkling water as well. Um, yeah, this has been a great trip, man. This is super fast. One thing that I like about this, I don't know, lately as I got older, I don't like driving in traffic a lot. So I know Miami has a lot of traffic. And if you're trying to get around here, I would think this is the best way to get from city, city to city, especially if you're trying to fly out from Fort Lauderdale or Miami or even West Palm Beach. This is the way to go. Smooth, convenient, fancy. Um, classy, all that. Check it checks all the boxes. And I also forgot to tell y'all there are outlets here. So if you bring your laptop, there's outlets right here in the middle of the seats. Thank you, Austin. And then also this slides out, so you have room to rest your hand while you're typing. Have power outlets over here. This slides out pretty easily like that, and um, you're good to go. The sun went down pretty quick. It is almost sunset here in, well, the sun has already set. It's night. It's dark outside. But we're almost to Miami, Florida. And I think I'm going to go get some vegan food somewhere um, and eat. And then I'm going to hop back on the train, get back on, and ride to West Palm Beach. And if you want to continue on this journey with me, just stay along. I think there's a little bit more to show you. Y'all, we've made it to Miami. There goes the city. I don't know if y'all can see the city lights. Let's see. No, y'all can't see the city lights. But it says Happy Hanukkah on one of those buildings. Let me see if I can show you. Hey, 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 see you later, man. Wow, so we've made it to Miami. Thanks to Brightline. It's been a great trip. Wow, that was so fast. All the people getting out, they're happy, they're excited. There goes our server. She's working double time. There we go. Bye. <laughs> nice having you on board. Yes. Oh, man. So, we're not going to do this video. I'm going to go to Miami to get some food real quick. We're going to take a little break. And then we're going to show you the other part of the train. So, don't leave. Make sure you stay. And let's keep it rolling.
So there's a Miami Heat game going on. So that's why there's so many people on the train. So there's usually not that many people on this train. All right, if you look behind me, there's people actually standing for a standby ride and also a book ride. So right now, uh, Brightline, they have these Teslas and also these automatic cars, whatever you call them. They are coming around to pick people up and it's a free ride that you can get to basically anywhere downtown Miami um, area. And I think that's pretty cool. There's no other service that I've used as a transportation service like flying on a plane or riding Amtrak where they actually have cars waiting from waiting here for you to pick you up. Well, that's pretty amazing. Alright, so I decided to rent a bike instead of catching an Uber to the vegan restaurant that I'm going to. This bike actually costs $10 for two hours, so that's a, a bit of savings compared to the Uber price. The Uber price here is $30 to $50, and I don't want to pay that much in order to catch uh, an Uber. That's not my style. Riding through the city of Miami with no worries, heading towards South Beach, I stopped at my favorite vegan restaurant, Full Bloom. After spending four hours in the city, I made it back to the Brightline station. The lounges in Miami are similar to the West Palm Beach station. The building is much larger, and there are other restaurant options as you exit the security area. I wanted to board through economy class to give you an idea of the feel and how it looks. As you can tell, it was clean, spacious, and comfortable. I also made new friends on a train ride back, and they were also Brightline enthusiasts and great guys. All right, so we've arrived back here in West Palm Beach. That was an amazing train experience on the Bright Line. So if you're ever coming to South Florida, make sure you hop on the Bright Line. Let them take you around. <sighs> oh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Hello, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, we are off to the next one, brother. See you later. All right, have and you a good know night. what? The last time my microphone was on, oh, so well. I, didn't get, I didn't get the voice, but I'm still well, gonna put you on there. Keith before and Nick. Yes, great to meet these you. my new homies right here. See you later, brother. All right, yeah, easy. Very nice. Yes. Take care, guys. Uh huh. Yes, indeed. All right, time to go home and go to sleep, y'all. Peace. <laughs>